There's one platform silently taking over the short form video game and so far they're kind of flying under the radar. This will change pretty soon though because once they flip this one switch they already have in place, it's probably gonna be game over for Instagram and TikTok. And I'm not just saying this to get you to click on this video. They really have one massive advantage over all social media platforms. And the fact that people are not really seeing them as a serious contender makes their moves even more powerful once it's all in place. So listen carefully now and slowly adjust your strategy. It might shake things up quite rapidly pretty soon. Even Mr. Beast sort of predicted the end of TikTok and obviously Reels as well in a recent podcast interview because of that. I recently asked you guys whether you'd rather have 1 million on TikTok or 100k on Instagram and to my surprise the results were pretty clear. Digging a little bit deeper though, I did find out that especially creators with a little bit more traction do tend to stick to the platform that generates them more money directly. So, you know, we're talking about in-platform monetization and right now, depending on where you are, it's actually possible on both platforms. Instagram has the Reels Play program, uh, paying people based on their Reels views. Nobody really knows how they're calculated. The rates go up and down and up and down. Like, um, yeah, I'm not gonna say this right now. They also announced more methods just recently, like the ability to put ads on your profile page, for example, which is kind of weird if you ask me. And then again, why not? The only issue with this whole monetization thing is the whole thing's just available for creators in the US, not even Canada. But if you're in the US, and if you manage to get a decent amount of views, it's actually not that bad. You know, I just uh, recently talked to somebody writing an article for the New Yorker magazine, and he told me there's plenty of creators sort of exploiting the algorithm, getting a crap ton of views with some very low effort content, then uh, they make between 10 to 20 grand a month just from this Reels Play bonus program. Same thing with TikTok, by the way. We got the creator fund where rules are a little bit more clear. Like, yeah, you've got to have at least 10,000 followers and at least 100,000 views a month. And the payout depends on the amount of engagement you get, the authenticity, you know, not just the views, and just stuff like that. And it's available in a lot of countries around the world. You know, they also have a 50-50 revenue split program called TikTok Pulse, but only for the top 4% of creators. So not for us, almost not for anybody out there watching, probably for nobody watching this video. And even then it wouldn't help you a lot because here's what Super Seth got for about 25 million views on TikTok. Yeah, pretty good, right? <laughs> Not. Also, here's what Mr. Beast got for about a billion views. One could argue it's actually not so much. And I guess Mr. Beast is one of the bigger ones. Now, here's a question to you, my friends. What if there was a platform out there that would pay everybody a split of their advertising revenue, the whole advertising revenue, no matter which country you're from, and no matter whether you're a uh, part of the top 4% or not. You can even use popular music and it will be an actual revenue split, not just some small weird bonus thing where nobody actually knows how much you'll get. If that were the case, would you start uploading your content there too? Would it make, let's say a bit of a difference if you suddenly just started making 50 to $100 extra each month on this platform, you know, sort of predictably. And I guess a lot of people would be interested, especially smaller creators. And now you're gonna be like, well, how could that even be possible if TikTok and Reels are the big players in the short form video game? No other platform has the potential to come close, right? Welcome to YouTube Shorts. You probably sort of forgot about them. And even though right now they are behind TikTok and Instagram in terms of viewership and uh, the whole interface and everything, that might change pretty fast because they just announced that they're gonna turn their YouTube partner program on for short creators in January, meaning a 45 to 55 uh, revenue split. People are a little pissed because of the 45% number they get, but apparently this comes because you can also use popular music and the artists need to get paid as well. I can see you're still not fully convinced, but let me explain you. In 2021, YouTube generated $28.8 billion in ad revenue, of which more than half of went to creators. They have the biggest and longest lasting advertising network, you know, Google ads, hello, <laughs> lasting for more than a decade. And now they're gonna open it up to even more advertisers looking to jump into the short form ad game with almost zero extra effort for all of these advertisers, you know, and zero extra effort for the creators, obviously. Compare that number to the number of TikTok. In 2020, for example, the creator fund was about $200 million, but nowhere near as much as it's on YouTube. Plus, 
Plus, the ad rates on YouTube are just a lot higher than they are anywhere else. On top of that, YouTube also announced that they integrate their short form algorithm with their long form one, uh, which might be really interesting for people thinking about creating normal longer form YouTube videos, which I guess some of you guys are interested in according to my polls. And um, yeah, expanding their brands from short form to long form, you know, talking about building a relationship and lots of other things. One thing that's really been lacking on, on TikTok especially, now, Instagram and YouTube obviously are going to be forced to do something about it to keep users creating on their platform first. But honestly, what are they gonna do about it? <laughs> you know, people will just be able to infinitely make more money with the YouTube Shorts program and honestly, it would be stupid for people not to use this opportunity. Doesn't matter if you still continue to upload the same content on all three platforms. At one point, when you're gonna see the money rolling in, you're gonna be a YouTube first creator. And it might not make too much sense for you right now, but especially for smaller creators, the threshold of making a significant amount of money for the same content you're already making, probably, will become drastically lower. And it does make a difference uh, also for long-term motivation. If you get, for example, <laughs> zero to $2 uh, from the creator fund for an average video or $20 from YouTube for the very same thing. Not even talking about the big influencers who inspire people to create content on their main platform. And they're also gonna be able to suddenly make a hundred times more for the same content, right? They'd be stupid not to switch over. Now, this thing's slated to roll out in January, so you do have time. And YouTube needs this time to fix some small things like their interface and some other things uh, where right now, Instagram and TikTok still are way ahead. But things can change fast. <coughs> MySpace, sad, still sad for me. So if you're currently creating short form content or you're thinking about doing that, no matter if it's on Instagram or TikTok and start uploading your content on YouTube shorts right now. Cause you need to meet the eligibility requirements until January. So you still have time to do that to actually get in. Plus you also still have time to get the algorithm on your side. So uh, yeah, you'll be one of the first ones to fully utilize this whole thing when it comes out in January. Of course, uh, in my opinion, Instagram right now is still holding out strong, especially in terms of something nobody ever spoke about before, if you ask me, uh, but uh, more on that on the next video. Now, the only thing that really matters right now is getting your short form video game as good as possible. So watch this video next. We're deconstructing certain elements that you can actually use to get more views. What a ride.